Yo, what's going on guys, JV here, and today I have some more MLB The Show 20 content for you. In today's video, we're gonna do episode two of The Budget Beast, and in today's position, we're gonna cover first base. The only rule I have for this series is that whatever position we're covering, that position has to be the player's primary position. So he can't be a third baseman primary, but have a secondary of first base, or he can't be a catcher and have a secondary of first base. His primary position has to be first base base so that's really my only rule so yeah let's get to the video but before we do get there if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up subscribing liking notification game whatever you want to call it any support is good support so i would greatly appreciate it but yeah let's hop into video man first baseman budget beast let's get to it all right guys so first up on this list is going to be 93 overall jason giambi and as you look at the card you can see he's got the huge power numbers right 120 power versus righties 106 powers versus lefties he's got above average on the vision above average from the contact he's going to be a card that's pretty much go ahead and get it right you put the bat on the ball and it's going to fly the reason why i love this card is because he's more on the cheaper side you probably get him for less than 10k in a buy now order card absolutely smokes the ball he's got one of those beautiful swings in MLB the show every year we get a Giambi every single year it is a card that just has a beautiful swing we'll take a look at the quirks here bomber walker pressure cooker and unbreakable and like I said guys one of the cheaper cards that's going to be on this list this is what I would call super budget right and I didn't really want to have anybody lower than like a 93 overall right because we're so late into the year that you're going to see a lot of 95 pluses 98 pluses in everybody's lineup but I just had to put this card in here because he just absolutely rakes the ball one of those cards beautiful swings he's going to play a little bit higher than his number and if you just put the bat on the ball i promise you it's going to fly so yeah first up on the list jason giambi let's look at the second one all right guys so next up on the list and we talked about this guy in a previous video right michael brasau i'm sorry if i butchered the name i am the worst with names and birth dates the absolute worst um so he has secondary positions of second third and shortstop which is awesome he can play all over the infield a guy that could be on everybody's bench right he absolutely smokes left-handed pitching as you can see he's got the 125 each contact and power 87 contact and 87 power against righties 75 vision like i said plays all over the infield just a really awesome card especially for somebody who could come off your bench hit against lefties you know he'll go up there and have a good at bat against chapman crochet jake mcgee whoever it may be that you're you know your opponent comes out of the bullpen with it from the left side this is a guy you can bring off the bench pit hitch, uh, pinch hit against lefties and then he plays everywhere in the infield that's not you know catcher or pitcher so yeah pretty cool card here i love this card when they came out with him he's going to be number two on our list let's find out who's number three all right guys so number three on our list is going to be max muncy and i love that he has the first base primary because he gets to make this list he's also got the secondary positions of second and third base so kind of similar to the uh to the previous card that we just showed in Brasau, right? He's a left-handed hitter. He's got great power numbers against each side of the plate, right? Against the righties and the lefties. He can hit lefties and righties, which is awesome about him being a left-handed card. Good defense, right? He's got above average defense, which is great for the second and third base secondaries that you might want. Quirks are pretty good too. Hitting machine, bomber, walker, road warrior, pressure cooker, and quick reflexes. And you will find this card for about 22,000 stubs on the market if you want to do a buy now order. Or you can grind out the postseason moments and get this card for free. Yes, for free. I know that's crazy to think. But as long as you do the postseason moments, you can get the Max Muncy and the Brasau card for free instead of actually having to pay for these guys. So that's why they're going to make this list. They're the absolute budget beast, right? Because you could actually get them for free. So yeah, third up on our list, Max Muncy. Awesome swing, awesome player, but I really hope they don't win the World Series. But that's beyond the point. He's number three on our list. Let's find out who's number four. All right, guys, so number four on our list is Will Clark and I know you guys are thinking Will Clark I don't know all I know is I used this card and I loved this card I had him in a BR run and he absolutely carried for me so when I thought first base earlier when I was thinking of what video I should make the first dude who popped into my mind was this Will Clark card and what's awesome about this Will Clark card not besides the fact that he's pretty cheap 23,000 stubs you can actually get him for free if you play the events so you go over here to the events pop here you view awards you get him for free for just getting 40 wins in the events three inning games the event ends on the 30th so there is still time to get him and i see his 
price continuing to drop because of that as well. But yes, I love this Will Clark a lot. The swing is just to die for. He's a left-handed hitter. I'm biased towards left-handed hitters, especially for first base. I feel like I have to have a lefty as my first baseman. I'm just better hitting with lefties, but I promise you if you try out this Will Clark card, and I know it seems boring and bland, but he is an animal, an absolute animal. Do not knock him until you try him. I know that's the cliche saying, but this card really does mash the baseball. Like I said, he carried for me in a BR run. So he's gonna make number four on our list. Let's find out who the fifth and final budget beast is. And for me, the fifth and final guy, the the number one guy on this list is going to be Jim Tomey. Right now, he's currently going for about 37K, so he's a little bit more expensive than you would want it, but he's one of the cars that you can get by doing the team affinities for the Cleveland Indians. So essentially, you could get him for free as long as you grinded it out, but the card absolutely mashes for me. He's got max power against righties with really good contact. Vision is a little bit lower than I would, would have hoped for, especially with a Jim Tomey card. I just feel like Jim Tomey should have at least 80, 80 plus vision, but maybe I'm being a little biased there. I'm sure I am, but that's beyond the point. He can also hit lefties pretty well. 89 contact versus lefty, 94 power. Overall, pretty, pretty darn good card. Let's look at the quirks here. Hitting machine, pressure cooker, bomber, unbreakable, and walker. Yeah, he's the last guy on my list, but I want to pop this in real quickly. At the end of each one of my buzz, uh, budget beast videos, I talk about who's my favorite first baseman to use. Stubs aside, Prices aside, grinding aside, my favorite first baseman to use up to this point in the entire year has without a doubt been Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, it's not really his primary position, but the Babe Ruth, and I'm gonna go show you guys the Babe Ruth card first. And, and I know a lot of you guys might've seen it, but for me, Babe Ruth is the guy at first base. So, and, and what's awesome about this Babe Ruth card is he is free, you just have to grind him out. It's a hell of a grind. I really am planning on putting out a video as well about the Babe Ruth, how to get them and quickest way to get them, so on and so forth. But for me, this Babe Ruth doesn't come off of first base for me, which is why none of those cards I have on my list actually plays first base for me. Everything aside, prices aside, this Babe Ruth is a must have at the first base position. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for the video. The budget beast videos are gonna be a little bit shorter. It's just, there's only so much you can put into the videos. That's why I added the little tidbit about Babe Ruth. He's been my favorite person to use at the first base position this late into the season. But if you're just starting playing or if you found my videos because you're trying to, you know, figure out what budget cards to use, hopefully one of the five guys on that list makes your squad and hopefully this video helped you out as far as any questions you might have with the position. We will be doing second base next. We'll be pretty much going around the diamond, second, short, third, catcher so tomorrow's video will probably be second base cards budget beast second base cards but yeah again thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe anything you want to do to support the channel all support is good support and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy watching this world series matchup that's going on behind the scenes and do not forget the cleveland indians blew a 3-1 lead in 2016 get out of here <laughs>